Hey folks, in this video we're going to work on whatever the heck this thing is. This thing is a straw violin, also known as a straw viol. It was invented in 1899 by John Matthias Augustus Straw, and its main purpose seems to have been to improve sound quality in the early days of phonographic recordings, as supposedly the early acoustic mechanical recording methods had trouble capturing the sound of normal stringed instruments. The owner of this instrument just wanted some minor things addressed on it, like a new nut instead of this plastic thing, and there is some issue with the machine tuners also here, and uh, this thing came off, so I need to figure out how to attach it. <laughs> so, let's get started. The first thing I want to check is on this horn that is detached. Whatever this is called, the bell? The bell end. The British will love that. And here's a tool you never see on the Luthier's workbench. From the side it looked like this was very poorly machined, but now I see it actually has a socket that it goes in, so I'm not gonna mess with this part. But this, I still have to figure out how I'm going to reattach it. I'm going to take this piece off too, because it's very cumbersome to work with this enormous thing sticking out there. There's a little tag here. As far as I can make out, this seems to be Burmese writing, but I cannot translate it. So if anybody speaks Burmese and can read this, please tell me what it means. I would love to know. Here's basically how this works. The strings vibrate and the bridge transmits the vibration of the strings to this pivoting arm thing, which will then make this diaphragm move much like a speaker cone. And then that sound is amplified by this thing and you get sound coming out of that end. I think the first thing I'm going to address is this machine tuners because they are not right, as you can see. Five minutes later. Finally! Now let's find out why these things are not sitting properly. Well, it seems to be bent. It seems to be just bent and went in bent and nobody cared to straighten them. Might be able to straighten this by hand, just with a little bit of flex in here. Yeah, it's flat. I'm gonna clean these up because there seems to be some gunk of the ages in there. Now this metal plate is flat, but it will still not sit completely flush, because it has some little nubs here where the parts are riveted in place. I can't file these down, otherwise everything's gonna fall off, so I'm just going to drill some tiny indents here where they press against the face of the peg box with a little burr. Beautiful. Before I attach the tuning mechanism back in place, I'm going to make a new nut. So we have to pop this one out. And there it goes. One of the concerns they wanted me to address is that the fingerboard here ends at an angle. So let's mask it up and file it into the proper shape. I don't think this fingerboard is ebony, it's just painted really well. Yeah, that's not ebony at all, this is whatever, I think it's mahogany, the same thing that the rest of it looks to be made of. But it's straight now. You might know by now that I like to recycle things or save every little bit of wood that I can. Because you never know when a little scrap of ebony can become a beautiful nut. Now 
Now the nut glue is setting. I want to take a look at this assembly here and make sure everything is in good order in this area. There's some active rust going on in this part. So I'm going to soak them for a while in this thing and that should clean them perfectly. Now to fix this part, I spoke with the owner of the instrument and we decided that since this has been already modified and we have no idea how it originally went together, we're just going to use some metal epoxy to put it together and that should hold it. Time to start putting it all back together. That's much better than it was before. Up your mind where you want to be at. <laughs> Fifteen minutes to put strings on the instrument. Machine tuners do not belong on violins. Now this bridge, I actually don't think I need to remake the whole bridge, but I'm going to recut it so it's a little bit more appropriate, because right now it's a chunk of wood. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to try it out just yet. I like to let the strings settle for a while, and these are uh, helicore strings, so they will be done in about a couple of hours. That gives me time to do one more thing the owner wanted. He wants a piece of food here at the back, so it's less awkward to hold it on the shoulder, because apparently this thing is... Oh yeah, this is unbelievably awkward to hold. So, let's get that done. I'm going to use some mahogany for that, because it's such a wonderful wood and I love working with it. Mahogany. This is a great opportunity to see if my little saw here can handle this big of a job. I haven't tried anything like this on it yet. So let's find out if it's got the power. This is beautiful. That is awesome. You just have to be gentle, but look at that. That's a 
beautiful cut. Now this here is a tool that I haven't played with yet in any of my videos, and this is a mini surface sander. Look at that, beautiful. Tiny screws, I need tiny screws. Hey, do I have three of them? Three! Yay! Alright, let's see what we can do with this thing now that it's fully set up. Let's see. Let's see, we're zoomed tune. Something I like about the Helicore strings, and they're not a sponsor, but if they want to be, I'll talk good about your strings. <laughs> but uh, the Helicores, once you set them and they settle, that's it, they stay in tune. Now I have to play in tune. I think the worst part is the, the strings are not where I expect them to be. I like I like my violin to be a little bit more like this, and it's sitting like this. There's this enormous weight pulling it this way, trying to turn it around. Let's see if I can fit a shoulder rest on this thing. All right. Uh, accidentally, I made it so that it fits a shoulder rest here. So let's see if that improves the situation any. And this instrument was designed so that you point this business end here straight at the microphone, the recording device. So I'm going to point it straight at the recording device and we'll see what it sounds like. I'm sorry in advance. Let's see. Okay, this is an improvement. It's still tremendously heavy and still trying to go that way, but now I can feel it resting on my shoulder. So let's see what this will do. sharp so it's my fault but it's difficult I can't vibrate it properly but let's see what the owner thinks
great. Mm, that's good. Good enough. Thank you. This is so cool. I can't wait to play with this more. Thank you.